What's going on everybody? This is Cody, the Home Theater Hobbyist, and today I have my full review of the Addison from HT Design. This is a power recliner. And honestly, this is one of the more important aspects of your home theater. Your seating, how comfortable is it? Do you like the design? Does it have all the features that you're looking for? And obviously, how much does it cost? So I'm going to tackle all those in this video. That's what I'm gonna talk about. So stay tuned or just sit back, relax like I am, and check out the Addison. The Addison from HT Design is shipped and sold here in the US by HT Market, a home theater retailer with a Chicago showroom. The Addison has three different material options, including black leather, red leather, and microfiber black, which I have here. There are 16 different configurations to choose from, starting with the single recliner, which is my review chair, all the way to the row of six straight. They all have legged and plat recline mechanisms, a kiln dried hardwood frame, a German engineered Oaken motor and a one year warranty. Okay, now let's talk features. The first major feature is obviously the fact that this chair power reclines. There is a motor built in and you push this little button right here on the right hand side, you push it in the forward position and the chair begins to recline. Now the back reclines as well and it doesn't fold flat but it does get in a nice pretty lean back position so that you can watch TV and watch movies. Next to that button there's also a USB-A port so that you can charge your phone or your tablet while you're watching your movie so that's nice because you can get a little bit extra juice. There's a little LED light behind a little blue LED that's on so you can locate it in the dark but I did not find that LED distracting at all when watching TV or movies. Moving on to the armrests themselves, each armrest has the same features. An accessory port up front, a cup holder that's in stainless steel, and storage. I like it because it has storage. And the hinges are back here along the back so you can get a lot more easier access into your stuff that's in here. The actual storage compartments are lined with the same microfiber material as you have all the way around the chair and it's actually pretty deep. It's like 15 inches deep in here. So you can keep your stuff like your remotes in there or even a warm bottle of water if you wanna have something there so you can put it in your cup holder there. And you can even keep the accessories like the tray table will fit in there and you can drop it into the accessory port just like that. <laughs> I can get it to slide in. Um, and even a wine glass holder you can keep in there. So you can just drop all of the accessories in there and you're good to go. So I think they've done a good job with just all of the accessories right here at your fingertips. A major feature of the Addison is its wall hugger design, which allows you to sit the chair closer to the wall and still get a full recline. Now the way this works is the seat of the chair begins moving forward before the backrest begins moving backwards. Now I found in my testing that you need to be about 5 inches from the wall and currently this chair is 5 inches from the wall so I'm going to show you a full recline. So here I am at the back of the chair and there's a couple of things I want to point out. The first one is the power cable itself. Obviously it comes from the back of the chair. Uh, I measured it from the back of the chair and it measures just under 12 feet. So you should be able to reach an outlet in your room. But if that's a little bit too much cord for you, they do include a little bit of cable management, just a Velcro strap that you can kind of strap it in. Let's say your cord, you only need you know, this much cable. You can kind of tuck this away, which is nice and neat. They also include the customary recliner flap here so everything looks nice but they have some velcro down here on the bottom and on the bottom of the chair right here so you can just kind of velcro it in just like that and again keep things nice and neat and this is not just flapping around 
So I give this chair a seven out of 10 for features. I like the fact that it has the accessory ports. It has the cup holders. It has nice deep storage. It's also got a motorized recline with a USB-A port. I mean, it's got a lot of nice features, but it doesn't have things like powered lumbar or powered headrest, a massage functionality, or, you know, LED lighting or anything like that. And honestly, I don't really expect a lot of those in this price category, but again, I think it does a good job for this price category. So I give it a seven out of 10. Now let's talk about the most important category and that is comfort. And honestly, I'm going to start with the material itself, this microfiber, and I like it. Um, I like it because it's nice and soft and comfortable. It's July here as I'm recording this in the US, so it's summertime and you got on your shorts, you've got on your short sleeve shirt, and it just feels good against your skin. It's nice and soft. I really like it. As far as the cushions are concerned, whether it be the bottom or the back cushion, I found them both to be very supportive without being too firm. I don't feel like I'm going to sink through the floors, but I also am not uncomfortable. And as far as the backrest is concerned, like I said, I find it to be actually very supportive. I'm one of those people that can get a little bit of a little bit of a lower back ache if I don't have enough lower back support. And honestly, I was a little bit concerned about that with this chair because it doesn't have like powered lumbar. But after sitting down watching movies and television, I didn't have any issues with my back. So I found it to be nice and supportive. Now, as far as head and neck support is concerned, I found this to be actually quite supportive. I was kind of thinking when I got this, since it didn't have a powered headrest, I'd have to put my hand behind my head just to kind of support my neck. But even in its most reclined setting, I found that I could still see the television without my feet getting in the way and having my head back up against the headrest. So I really like that. Now, uh, HT Market does sell a, an accessory, a head pillow accessory that you can buy if you find that that is a concern. But for me and my head, and neck I actually did find this to be quite supportive so I was pretty happy about that so from an overall comfort standpoint I have to give this a 9 out of 10 I like the fact that it is supportive in all the places where I need it to be supportive it feels quite nice it's great chair to nap in I actually did try napping and it does work in this chair I felt great when I woke up um, the material I really like it and I was kind of thinking would I buy the microfiber or would I buy the uh, leather and Obviously, I don't have the leather here with me, so I can't really compare it, but honestly, this microfiber feels so good, I probably would go for the microfiber. I wouldn't even worry about the leather. So from a comfort standpoint, I have to give it a nine out of 10. The final topic I wanna to discuss is value, and I give the Addison an eight and a half out of 10. The microfiber version starts at $6.99, whereas both of the leather versions start at $7.99, and that is for the single seat configuration. Prices go up as you go up in different seating configurations. And I think that is a really good deal, especially considering the features that you get and the overall build quality, because this is a nice build quality. Can you find cheaper home theater chairs out there? Yeah, probably, but do they have the same features, same build quality? Maybe, maybe not. So again, I think this is a pretty good value, so I give it an eight and a half out of 10. So overall, I highly recommend the Addison from HT Design. This is a nice, comfortable chair. It's very supportive in the areas where you want it to be supportive. You got nice motorized recline. You've got nice features. It's got a, it's overall good value. I like it. Um, now, if I was purchasing this chair or any other chair from HT Market, I would definitely spring for a couple of accessories. The first one being a tray table. I think that's just a must have. If you don't buy anything else, buy a tray table because it's so universal. I'd also also probably pick up a tablet holder like the one that I have here uh, because not only does it hold your tablet but it can also hold your phone which is quite nice it also turns and swivels and rotates so you can get it in just the right position and you can kind of move it out of the way you know if you want to put your drink or something like that uh, they also sell this blanket that I have here it says home cinema um, so if you or your spouse gets cold you can buy this as well so they've got a lot a lot of nice cool things there but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions drop them in the comment section I will try to answer them Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and also comment. We'll talk to you next time.